Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist based in Vienna, Austria. In this video, I test the heart rate accuracy of the Polar Verity Sense. As always, I do not want to waste your time, so timestamps are in the description below and also on the timeline. The Polar Verity Sense is basically a beefed up version of the Polar OH1 Plus, which I looked at a few weeks ago. Now, before I start the actual test, I wanna share with you the main differences between the two. As Polar states on their website, the Verity Sense takes the battery life from 12 hours on the OH1 Plus to 20 hours now on the Verity Sense. The broadcast range is also doubled from 75 to 150 meters. And the internal memory has been quadrupled from four MBs to 16 MBs. Now this increased memory means that it can now store up to 600 hours of training data. The increased memory is directly linked to the main difference between the OH1 Plus on the one side and the Polar Verity Sense on the other side, at least in my opinion. You can now start the workout from the device and later sync it to your phone. The Verity Sense does not have any type of screen, but the single button in combination with the lights of the optical sensor can actually be used to start your training. Additionally, they changed the strap of the Verity Sense compared to the OH1 Plus. The new one is slightly bigger, but also stays in place better. The strap is actually the thing that boosts the Bluetooth signal of the Verity Sense, so without it you get less range. Also, you can now connect up to two Bluetooth devices at the same time. Finally, the optical sensor of the Verity Sense is still the exact same as the one in the OH1 Plus. Now, enough background, let's get to the tests. I will start off by comparing the Polar Verity Sense against the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. I use an ECG chest strap as a reference since this is generally considered the most reliable way of getting heart rate measurements. To make sure that results were consistent, I wore two Polar H10 ECG chest straps at the same time. Following this comparison, I will compare the results of the Verity Sense against those of the Polar OH1 Plus that I wore at the same time. I wore both the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and the Verity Sense for 31 spinning sessions and 18 weightlifting sessions. Let's first have a look at an overview of the accuracy. Here I displayed an overview of the heart rate accuracy. Each dot here is a single measurement. Now the dots are quite transparent since there are so many of them, but the darker the area, the more measurements there are in a certain area. On the horizontal axis, we have the heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and on the vertical axis is the value according to the Verity Sense. The blue line indicates perfect agreement, so any measurement along this line had the same value for the Polar H10 and the Verity Sense. The red line indicates those measurements where the value according to the Verity Sense is half that of the actual value according to the Polar H10. The reason I added this line is because in the past I've seen that many devices measure half the actual heart rate when they make a mistake. As you can see, overall, there's a very good agreement between the Verity Sense and the ECG chest strap, since most points are along the blue line. Only in the lower to middle heart rate ranges do we see some deviations between the Verity Sense and the Polar H10. Since the points are below the blue line, this means that the Verity Sense detected a too low heart rate in these moments. To make sure that the results of the reference were consistent, I made the same plot for the second Polar H10 chest strap I own and I wore at the same time. That's what you see plotted here on the right. To me, these two plots look more or less identical. And again, we see this slight deviation here in the middle to low heart rate ranges, indicating that the results will stay the same no matter which of the two chest straps I used. Let's have a look at the individual training sessions to see if we can find out why the Verity Sense does not perfectly agree with the Polar H10. Here you see the first spinning session. Along the horizontal axis we have the time, and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. In blue, I plotted my heart rate according to the Verity Sense, and in red, my heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. As you can see, I took a few short breaks during the training where my heart rate would dip. The measurements overlap almost perfectly, which is why you can almost not see the red line at all. If you look at the next training session, we again see that this is the case. If we look at this training session, we see that there are sometimes minor deviations where the Verity Sense needs a few seconds to catch up with an increase in heart rate, but these are really minor issues. If we go through more examples like this one, 
or this one here, you will see that there's almost always perfect agreement between the polar verity sense and the polar H10 ECG chest strap. This is also clearly visible in this example and also this example, which is the last example I wanna show you. So where did this slight discrepancy come from that we saw in the overview plot? Well, it actually has to do with weightlifting. Weightlifting is more difficult for most optical heart rate sensors because during weightlifting, I flex the muscles and tendons near my wrist. This makes it more difficult for the sensor to accurately detect sudden changes in my heart rate. Let's have a look at some of the weightlifting sessions. Here we see the first weightlifting session. During the first half, I did flies where I trained my chest muscles. Since the Verity Sense was placed on my upper arm and my biceps and triceps are not really extensively involved in this exercise, it was able to track my heart rate accurately. During the second half of my training, I did dips, which also involves my arms during the training. And here it had more difficulty tracking my heart rate. And this seems to be a general pattern. The exercises that actively involve training my arms are generally tracked slightly worse than those that do not. And this is likely the reason that in the middle to low heart rate ranges, we saw a slight inconsistency between the Verity Sense and the Polar H10 chest strap. However, I would say overall, these results are definitely not bad. Most of the time, my heart rate tracking is at least close, though similar to what we saw for the OH1 Plus in the previous video, it often misses the absolute peak in my heart rate during some of the weightlifting exercises. However, compared to most other optical heart rate sensors I've tested, it definitely performs better. There's just one sensor I've seen perform better, and that one I will show you later in the video. So how does the performance of the Verity Sense compare to the performance of the Polar OH1 Plus? Let's have a look. However, first a quick side note. If you're interested in the latest updates on the wearables I'm testing, consider subscribing to my Instagram and my weekly newsletter. Of course, you would also make me really happy if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Enough self-promotion. Let's take a look at those results. I wore both of them for 31 spinning sessions and 18 weightlifting sessions, and this is an overview of their consistency. This is similar to the plot I showed you before, but now along the horizontal axis we have the Polar OH1+, Plus, and along the vertical axis we have the Verity Sense. Again, each dot here is a single heart rate measurement, and as you can see, they basically give the same results since almost all of the measurements are along the blue line. We can draw the same conclusion if we compare both of them against the ECG chest strap. On the left are the results we saw before for the Verity Sense, and on the right we have the results for the Polar OH1+. Basically, to me, these look identical. So that would indicate that the performance of the Polar OH1 is similar to the performance of the Verity Sense. If we look at the individual training sessions and compare the two against each other, we see the same thing. In red here is my heart rate according to the OH1+, and in blue my heart rate according to the Verity Sense. The overlap here is so perfect that we basically cannot see the results according to the OH1+. And we see the same thing for all of the spinning sessions as we also see here, also in this example here, here, and finally also here. Next, if we look at weightlifting right here, we see that the OH1 Plus and the Verity Sense basically perform the same and also therefore have the same problems. Generally, they again overlap almost perfectly, meaning that the results from both of these devices are basically the same, at least as far as I can see. Finally, how does this compare to other optical heart rate sensors? Well, I've tested many optical heart rate sensors from many companies, and so far the only one that has outperformed the Verity Sense is the Apple Watch. This is an overview plot of the heart rate accuracy of the Apple Watch Series 6. On the horizontal axis is again the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, and along the vertical axis the Apple Watch. As you can see, this basically has perfect agreement with the ECG chest strap. However, the Apple Watch is in a whole different price range than the Polar Verity Sense and has other downsides, like needing to be charged much more often. To summarize, the Polar Verity Sense is one of the most accurate optical heart rate monitors you can buy. Since it still has the same sensors as the OH1+, the two basically perform identical in terms of accuracy. So, would I recommend the Polar Verity Sense? In short, yes. For most people, I would definitely recommend it. However, there are a few exceptions. First, if you're mostly into weightlifting, I would not recommend buying it. In that case, I would recommend an Apple Watch or an ECG chest strap. Also, depending on your needs, the Polar OH1 Plus might be good enough for you since it has the same sensors and the same accuracy as the Verity Sense, but is now quite a bit cheaper ever since the Verity Sense was released. I'll leave Amazon links in the description below in case you're interested in either of these. 
There are of course limitations to the test that I did. The two most important ones are, first of all, that I just tested it on myself and I cannot say how it performs on others. However, for the OH1 Plus, I showed it performed even better on another person. Second, I did not try any other sports like swimming or running. However, I expect and hope it will perform equally well. In my videos, I do scientific tests on different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit and the ScanWatch. And in the end, I hope to use tracking to improve my life. So if you like that subject and like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and also consider giving it a thumbs up because it makes it easier for other people to find my videos. Thank you so much for watching and consider watching some of my other videos.